This is one I've been looking at for quite a while. I got a sneaky peek and a little, little bit of information about it before it even released. The NE1 controller. Tell us a little bit about I mean, this is the daddy that a lot of mobile DJs that don't really want to go too far into DMX yeah. are looking at because it's basically self-controlling, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And what's great about the NE1 is if you're familiar with our MyDMX software, which has been doing great, it's kind of like having the scene builder function that's inside of MyDMX where you get all of your easy to do movements, your circles, your lines, your phasing. You get all of that built into the NE1. Now the way it works is whichever fixture you're using, you would use the USB and import that fixture into your library. So once you have it loaded, for example, how we have the Z4 here connected, that's how I'm able to access all of the features on the fixture. So as new fixtures come out, you just download the, li the fixture library, throw them on USB and straight in. And that's Wi-Fi and I take it standard 3-pin DMX as well still? Exactly. So you could do wireless DMX, especially for PARs if you have Wi-Fi PARs, or even like our InnoSpot LED Wi-Fi that already has that built in. You can completely bypass DMX cables and have a wireless signal between your fixtures. But it does have a three pin DMX out, so you can go to your DMX line just as easy also. So going into that, the basic is we've got my DMX or my DMX buddy cut down, put into a box without the need for a computer, yeah. without the need for a separate Wi-Fi transmitter because that's built in as well. Yeah. And it's simpler to understand for the guys that really don't want to go too far into DMX because it's minus the frightening computer screen. It's everything all in a box, all on buttons ready for you. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, just to quickly go over all the features because, you know, it doesn't look like a giant controller or console, but I'll tell you really quick, you have fixtures where you can select any fixture you like. So it's not just one fixture. You can do your up lights and your moving heads all together. And once you have a fixture selected, your, your standards are your colors, gobos, effects, your show, and as well as your pause. Now the pause works with, let's say you're doing a circle movement or a line movement, you can actually pause that movement so it stands still. What's great too is it has a master dimmer. So for any one of your fixtures, if you wanted a quick blackout, you could do that with your master dimmer. And as well as your strobe rate, you can control with this. So you just hold that down and you can get your strobing out of your lights. Now what's really, really cool is you have 12 memory banks. So let's say you had 12 shows that you really liked, kind of like your go-to shows. You could save those onto the controller so it's easy to access at any time. And then these four dials here will actually control your effects, your pan, your tilt. And what's really nice for mobile entertainers is your effect size. With a lot of times when you buy moving heads, you're shining certain areas, maybe that you don't want, maybe the back of the room or the side of the room. With this, if you did a circle movement, you can control where that effect is happening and just have that effect pointed in that direction. So very, very powerful controller. And what's really cool too is if you just look on our site, adj.com, you'll find a software that works with this, which is called Profile Editor for anyone. And with that, you can create your own profile. Let's say it's not an ADJ light. We wish everyone had ADJ, <laughs> but you know, in a perfect world, that's that would yeah. be. But, you know, there are other brands and this will work no problem with any other brand. All you gotta do is have the manual available so you know which are your pan and tilt and color and all those channels. So with that controller, you're not just tied to an ADJ product. It'll be, like you said, an ideal world. People are gonna use them. It's almost like a big show controller accepts everybody's effects as long as you can build the profile to it. Yeah, you're exactly right. And so that having been said, you can have a lot of fun with the anyone creating your profiles because what a lot of guys are doing too, if you check Facebook or anything like that, a lot of guys are getting creative hacking the fixtures. Yeah. Because one thing you'll notice on here, there is no zoom function, but what Ian Webster out here in the UK did is he created the zoom function to be on here, so I'm able to control my zoom. You can also do that with fixtures like our InnoSpot Elite that have the iris, eight facet prism, six facet prism, three facet prism. All of those things are accessible with this using the profile editor so that you can create your own profile to have a lot of fun with your lights. That's fantastic. Thanks very much for your time, E. Thank you. Thanks.